What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in this kind of mini series on my YouTube channel, I'm doing this uh, thing where I'm basically solo farming all the popular five man gold farms. And the reason why I'm doing that is because whenever I upload a, a video of a five man farm or live stream myself doing a five man farm, I always get the same uh, questions and that is student, can I do this solo? student how much gold can i expect if i solo this and so on and i've never really had a good answer to that because i've never done the farm solo so i figured it would be an interesting idea to try all the farms out and then we can kind of exclude the shit farms and it's going to be nice of you to know which farms are legit to do solo and luckily you guys agreed that it was a good idea and uh, the cool thing is so far in the series most of the farms has at least been decent. Some of them have actually been really good to do solo. So is that going to be the same for today's farm? Before we take a look at today's farm, I do want to mention and a big thank you to everyone that has already picked up the 0 to 10 million gold guide. The support lately has been insane and all of your positive feedback. I really do appreciate it. Now, if you haven't grabbed it yet, as you can see on the screen, if you use the code Shadowlands, you will get it for 50% off. And it's important to know that this book gets constantly updated. It has been updated for over two years now. So whenever new content like Dragonflight comes out, I'm updating this book with the best Dragonflight gold farm. So it's not like you guys have to buy a new book each expansion. It's just one-time purchase and you get the updates for free for life. So you can find it linked down below in the uh, description um, down below and also pinned comments. But why are we doing this farm? So in a five-man group, it's very good. You have five people spread across this tiny island down in STV. And the mobs, they have like a safety net where there has to be an X amount of mobs up at any given time. So they hyper spawn. The faster you kill them, the faster they will spawn. Very good since the, uh, the density is okay it's such a small place for these elementals and as you guys can see on uh like the screen right here they do spawn relatively fast right the items that we're after on this farm are the following so these are not all of them but like the highest in demand items that you would want from this farm so you have the first man hat which is a unique appearance a really cool uh like pirate looking hat then you have two different battle pets. You have the parrot cage for the macaw, and you also has, have the Rosachi hatchling. These are both zone specific and drop from any mob in STV. Same thing goes for the first man hat. And then since the elementals is at the perfect level, they also have the chance of giving you transmog items such as buccaneer's vest, silver tread robe, silver tread uh, like armor, I mean, and then silver tread robe as well. And then there's obviously a couple of other items as well, but these are like the biggest ticket items. Uh, and besides from that, these mobs are also water elementals, so they will drop you the material uh, essence of water. They also drop globe of water and elemental water, but the cell rate on both of those is extremely low. They're really bad. I just vendor them. But the essence of water can be quite nice, actually. So... Doing this for one hour, I did it on my live stream for one hour, and the result is the following. I already showed you the results. After doing it for one hour, I'm left with these materials, and those are the only items that I got. Now, it, it, this can happen on a lot of the farms that I featured before as well, where you do it and you're reliant on big RNG items and they just don't drop. You just get the bullshit items. However, I wouldn't recommend this farm because you don't get en enough essence of water to make any good steady gold out of it. And th there's a big and. The safety net on this farm, pretty much it, it's at a very low amount. So after like I kill these mobs for like, 10-15 minutes, they really stopped spawning as fast as they are spawning right now. And you had to maybe travel from one side of the island over to the opposite side of the island and kill mobs, and then they would spawn on the other side again. It was just, it was a really big hassle. It's not a motivating farm to do, because 9 out of 10 times when you loot, even more than that, you will just, your loot window will look like this. 
you're just picking up gray items. Very few green items, very few essence of water. And uh, yeah, it, it is a very good five-man farm to do. But solo, I wouldn't recommend you guys to go out there. There was even people who were going to do it alongside me when I, uh, when I live streamed it. And people gave up. Because this, and I understand it, this is very, uh, like, the, yeah, you have to be insane like me in order to keep it up for one hour. Uh, and of course, and that doesn't mean it's impossible to make gold in this farm. You can, in theory, you can kill one mob and get one of the items that I mentioned. But I don't consider this to be good enough to do solo. So it kind of sucks. It's the first video in the series uh, where the farm hasn't been good enough, in my opinion to actually do solo but I, I gotta be transparent about this series there's no need for me to try and uh, like uh, decorate the numbers to try and make it look better than what it is uh, i'm here to help and this far it's not helping anyone so if you guys like this series though and you're interested in what i have to feature next make sure that you are subscribed to my youtube channel and in that way you will be notified whenever i upload another video that is, however, it for today's video. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will see all of you guys back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye-bye.